Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about a, a simple exam style problem involving computing vector projections and also drawing them on a graph. So this is really a two-part question. It involves both the visualization as well as the computational aspect of it. So let's consider this. So let's uh, consider consider u a vector and this is going to be in this is going to be 2d we're talking about here so it's going to be uh, 1 comma 2 and also consider another vector v negative 1 negative 1 like that okay so part a is compute compute um uh compute the projection of u in the direction of v. Okay, so I'm going to compute that. Right, so let's recall. So the answer is this. Recall that the, uh, the projection of u in the direction of v is equal to u dot v times v all over uh, v in magnitude squared. All right. Um, so let's see about um, uh, figuring this one out um, and uh, uh, doing our best here with this one. So uh, let's compute now the first part. Uh, U dotted with V. That's simply going to be 1 comma 2 dotted with negative 1, negative 1. And that's going to be 1, negative 1, minus 2, which is going to be minus 3. Okay, so that's the value there. Now we want to compute v in magnitude squared, which is actually just v dotted with v. So that's going to be uh, negative 1, comma, negative 1, dotted with negative 1, negative 1, and we're going to get 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. All right. So the projection then, once we have all these pieces put them together, we have negative 3 halves uh, times v. Okay, so that's our answer to this problem. So to be a little bit more specific though, we might want to go negative 3 halves times, and actually put the vector in there, negative 1, negative 1. Okay, so... Uh, if I was going to, I'll bring this down here and just write it down a little bit clearer. That's going to be uh, positive 3 halves, positive 3 halves. All right. All right, so part B is going to be to draw all three vectors. Because remember... When I'm computing the projection, this is itself a vector. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to bring this up here, give ourselves a little room. Do my best at drawing this. So there is one comma two. All right, so that is, let me remember here, that is u, okay, and then v, is there, and that is going to be negative 1 comma negative 1. Okay, so, where is the projection vector? So the projection, projection, in the direction of v of u is going to be about there. I'm going to draw this one in blue. Maybe about there. I think that's what it is. Actually, let me let me erase this a little bit. Let's see if I can get this a little bit better. So we need it to go to 3 halves and 3 halves. So there's 2, so I'll go there. There it is, right about there. So 
so that's the projection vector right there. All right, so you can see this has the property that we've seen so many times, that if I take a flashlight and point it so it's pointing at a 90 degree angle down onto the line uh, formed by V, all right, and if I flash my flashlight, the projection should be the shadow cast from U onto V. So it is the shadow cast uh, f from U onto the line uh, th through. through a V. So that's the artistic way of representing a projection. Okay, so um, this style of problem would be a very classic exam problem. Just ask me, I would ask you just to make this computation and do the graph. Another example question I might want to give though here is then suppose that The alternative question is I don't give any uh, any vectors explicitly, just the graph. Okay, so here let's start with a new graphic. And what I'll do here is say that u will be this vector here, and v will be going there, like that. And then I might ask the question, a, draw the projection of v onto u, and another one, draw the projection of u onto v, okay? And then, of course, clearly label. Okay, so these are good questions because they don't involve any actual computation. It's just asking you for the concept. So um, what I'm going to do here is uh, we're going to give these names. I'm going to call this one w. I'm going to call this one H, okay? And that's just so I can clearly label them on my graph here. All right. So let's talk about V onto U. Um, okay, so what I have to do here is draw a dashed line that's passing through U. Like that, right? And then put my flashlight like this. and then shine a light down. And this flashlight should be at 90 degrees to that line. And then what you do is you draw this out and wherever that, that shadow is cast, you draw the vector like that. So that's gonna be my W vector. That'll be my projection there. All right, now let's try a different one. We'll try the other way. So let's do now part B which now I want to draw the projection of U onto V. So I draw the line going like that. Then I put my flashlight like that. And I cast a line down like there. And I'll just draw this one in black. That would be my vector H like that. All right. So those are two important vectors. I think this is really important to understand the dot product because it allows you to give these projection vectors. Okay. Um, all right. I hope this video clarified a few things and got you ready for the exam. I think there's lots of, um, I really want to just give quick problems that where you just, they're very clear how to proceed. And uh, by showing these things, you, you're demonstrating that you have knowledge about what vectors and dot products do and their relationships. Okay, 
and also, of course, the relationships that you can discover in the graphs of these things. All right, thank you very much.